What's good, CBT fam? Before y'all get into the video, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button and that post notification bell to get notified every time I upload content. Peace. What's good, YouTube? It is your boy, Big Cool, coming to you from Colossal Boxing Talk. Colossal Boxing Talk is associated with Three Kings Boxing under the movement umbrella, and I am back with another video. Eddie Hearn says he would like to sign both Charlo brothers and pay them more money. As you all know, Eddie Hearn is the promoter of former WBA middleweight champion, or uh, regular middleweight champion, Danny Jacobs. Uh, he is now in his second fight as the promoter for Jacobs. And you all know that Danny Jacobs and Jamal Trollo had a little confrontation about a month or so ago um, after the Wilder Ortiz fight where Jacobs pulled up on um, Charlo and said, you know, I heard you been saying I've been ducking you and talking slick and whatever the fuck it was about. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And apparently, you know, Eddie Hearn got wind of that. He sees an opportunity where he can not only make money for his current fighter, Danny Jacobs, but he can make money for Jamal Charlo and his brother, Jamel Charlo. And we all want to see Daniel Jacobs versus Jamal Charlo. You know, two guys, two upper echelon guys um, who are explosive, athletic, can box and can punch. Obviously got some tension. Not not a fan of each other right now. I don't know how cool they were um, before um, these statements. But, you know, Eddie Hearn smells an opportunity, and I don't blame him. Eddie Hearn also has, you know, Kell Brook, who called out Jamel Charlo, who happens to be the junior middleweight WBC champion, who has let it be known that he will fight Kell Brook. You know, so there's opportunities for, you know, both Charlo brothers. Um, I don't know what they get paid fight in and fight out under Al Heyman, but I'm pretty sure it's a handsome million-dollar-plus check. I don't know what they could get paid from Eddie Hearn, but I'm pretty sure it can be some nice money. They can fight here, then they can be exposed to the U.K. crowd. Um, but, you know, this is something that we know that Eddie Hearn is trying to do. He's trying to sign Deontay Wilder. Now he wants to sign, you know, the Charlos. I'm probably, probably sure he wants to sign Errol Spence. But this is what uh, Hearn had to say. Mr. Charlo has been running his mouth recently. We love that fight as well. We all saw what Danny did to him in the quarter in the Barclays. I think he was still looking for his soul, which he left there that night. See, he's talking, you know, big shit. He also said, all kidding aside, um, he wants to work with him. He wants to work with both Jamal and Jamel. I'll sign. I'll sign Jamal Charlo. Um, I'll sign both brothers. I'll sign both of them and pay them a lot more money than they're making at the moment. They don't have a promoter, and I like them. They're great fighters. They're making a lot of noise. They have no profile at all because they have no promoter, and they're they're doing it on their own. They're coming out. They're calling everybody out. I like what they're doing. So. Like I said, any Hearn can promote. You got to give him that. He's a, a top-notch promoter. Um, look what he's doing for, um, you know, uh, Anthony Joshua. Look for, look what he did for Kell Brook. Look what he's doing now for Amir Khan. You know, and so much of his other fighters. You know, he's a hell of a promoter. We can't take that away from him at all. Doesn't matter what we feel about him now that the negotiations between Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder are going on and kind of getting, you know, a little murky and a little... A little long-winded. Um, he's a top-notch guy. He knows the ins and out of this business. He knows how to, you know, um, you know, sell his fighters. Look, he got fucking Amir Khan versus Phil O'Greco on ESPN Plus, the app that just debuted a few weeks ago. So that tells you he's working with everybody: HBO, Showtime, ESPN. The guy knows how to use his resources. He knows how to use his friendships and relationships. So while I'm not saying that. It would be a great idea for the Charlos to leave um, Al Heyman and everybody over here stateside. I'm not saying, you know, they should do that. But money talks, opportunity talks, bullshit walks. And if these guys really feel that, you know, they're not getting the due respect that they feel they deserve and they're not getting a worldwide recognition, then why not? Consider it. At least sit down with them, have a meeting, um, entertain it, um, and... You know, see what uh, can come of it, if anything. You know what I'm saying? And we'll see. You know, Daniel Jacobs, you know, uh, he's a big draw in New York. You know, um, I, it, we're gonna be, it's going to be interesting to see um, how many people he put in the seats tomorrow night at the Barclays Arena. I think that's where they fight in his hometown of New York. So, 
you know, we'll see um, how everything plays out. But Eddie Hearn is a, a top-notch promoter. He wants to sign some American fighters. He got Daniel Jacobs. He got Jarrell Big Baby Miller. He did sign Luis Ortiz at one point. Um, so he's definitely able to get you opportunity um, and, you know, get you recognized. So we'll see how that uh Play is that what I told you to do in the beginning of the video? Drop a comment in the comment section below giving me your thoughts on this topic. Head over to Facebook, smack that like button on the Colossal Box and Talk Facebook page. Follow me on Twitter at Colossal CBT. Shout out to everybody in the movement that's moving with us. Be sure to subscribe daily to 3kingsboxing.com for your latest and greatest boxing news, unfiltered, unbiased, reported the way it should be. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.